this is the very spot where we laid my poor mother out. We borrowed a butcher's chopping block for it. Do you remember? Aye. Made a sort of complaining noise when I tapped my pipe out on the leg. Poor mother. She'd just come back from her holidays. Her skin were as fresh as when she was a young lass in mill. Yes, she did look well. Oh, well, it's not like holiday at Blackpool for bringing roses back to your cheeks. Yes, she were ever so house proud when my mother. Yeah. She used to blacklead tram lines outside front door. <laughs> she asked me once, would she get electrocuted if she dusted overhead wires? I said, no. <laughs> As long as you've not got your foot on lines at the same time, is it? Poor mother. Cat pined away to nothing when she died. It's typical of bloody cats, isn't it? The whole house came to a standstill when she passed over. The gas mantles cracked and withered, and all the water <laughs> dried up in the goldfish bowl. Oh. Yeah, poor devils. I felt really sorry for them goldfish. <laughs> Fancy dying a drought in the middle of the 20th century. There's progress for you. Well, I happen to like progress. I like houses with lounge diners and integral tumble dryers. I mean, a house like this... Don't just... say aught about this house, love. It's a house of substance, is this? <coughs> Stood firm against all the bombs of what Hitler thrown at it. I know Hitler were a terrible tyrant, but I don't think you were aiming specifically at us. Give him the benefit, love. Give him the benefit. Ah, Hitler. The bombs. Happy memories. I remember going into city centre, morning after Blitz. Every building raced at ground, bar one. Just one building standing there amidst the rubble. Proud, noble, defiant. The symbol of our faith that we should win through. What building was that? Arthwaite's Brewery. <laughs> restores your faith in divine intervention. No. You're keeping very quiet, Carter. What do you think about it all? This? I like it. You what? It's a bloody sin the way they're pulling these old houses down. They should do them up. People like us should come and live in them. And there'd be pubs on every corner. And shops where you could buy yourself a decent pair of bootlaces. And there'd be a sense of community like what there was in the old days. No, there was a real sense of community. In them days, you had real neighbours. They never come round for a mug of tea and a gossip. They never rallied round you when you was sick. The only time you saw them was when they hid in your attic from rent man. <laughs> a real neighbourliness. Hey, has anybody seen our stavely? Oh, hell. What's up? Last time I saw him, he was making a beeline for that outside lovey over there. Oh. Come on, then. Let's go and rescue him. Why you don't carry a black and decker of your handbag for emergencies like this is quite beyond me. This is playing havoc with me. It's tiring me out. What is? Going to bed at half past seven every night. I've made a right mess of my social life. I've not had a single night's practice at snooker since I've been wed. I'll not have the strength to hold me bloody cue proper. <laughs> you can leave the light on, darling. Pardon? I've got a surprise for you. A surprise? Yes. I thought we'd go about things a completely novel way tonight. Come to bed and I'll show you. All right. Well... Mm. I've been preparing all day for this. All right. I've been to see all the experts. Have you? All right. Have you? Yeah. They said this was the best way they knew. Close your eyes. And they close tight. Right then. Here we go. I 
open your eyes now, Dan. What the? Right, you sign here for your mortgage, there for your intention to purchase, and there for your £250 deposit. And put your pyjama jacket on, you get ballpoint stains all down your chest. What the hell's going on here? Well, I knew I'd never get you down to the estate agent, so I've arranged to have it all done here. After all, in all those books we read before we were married, it said the best things in marriage always happen in bed. Well, now's your chance to prove it. <laughs> Trapped, lad. Trapped. And your mother's come to mend the window sash. <laughs> Carter, if you want to lock yourself away for rest at night, lavatory's vacant. 